everybody, this is the pre-prime saga zero suit, the zero suit <laughs> bracket. Uh, two DJ Z fly, and I got two DJ strides joining me. And wow, we got Wadi versus Stroder. Okay, Stroder. Okay, I, I guess you shouldn't be surprised at this point. Stroder is like the guy that always pulls out that surprise character and like upsets you with it, like out of nowhere. Not, so, uh, not only is he that player that you know, of course has like a forty, you know, forty character pool. That you can choose from, but I just saw Magister like wrecking face oh, in Hawaii yeah. with there. the same exact you were, character. You were actually there. Yeah. I witnessed it in person, so I'm starting to believe this character isn't bad. <laughs> yeah, Magister actually is at this tournament too, so we're probably going to see a lo little bit more of the, this crazy character in Cinderor. Yeah, I mean, at first I wasn't sure, like, okay, is it just Magister that's good, or is this character like actually good? But then oh, the Magister more is definitely insane, but I'm glad that he's showing like, more <laughs> of the characters. More people get inspired to see what the character can do and mm -hmm. like pull out bracket. Oh, definitely. And look at this lead trapping just coming from uh, Stroder. Ooh, just, ooh, that poke. F tilt. Yeah, so strong. Yeah, the thing about Incineroar is he may have like very slow mobility and uh, not the best recovery, but his normals and like everything else about him is insanely good. So Dude. you always have to be on your toes. Oh, like, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah. Oh no, he has. He still oh. had his second jump. Oh, but he but got the roll read. That's right, Wadi's. I mean, Wadi's top player for a reason. Definitely showing that uh, he has the lead traps on deck too. But oh, he's going for the zero death, but it doesn't work. It's not going to work on Wadi. <laughs> we go on that against Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, character with worse recovery that that, that might have worked. Yeah. I've like definitely seen. I've seen that kill at zero before. That's definitely a little mad kill. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But these up tilt conversions into up air and up air, I mean, Stroder, you're definitely showing he's put in practice with this character, even doing that short hop nair. Nice timing on the back air. He has that ledger. He wants him again. We saw he got that up tilt kill before, but in the up air, uh, hoping to the ledge. Really close situation. This is like a very scary spot because you have Incineroar here. Always uh, have to watch out for the revenge nature, too. Yeah, and the fact that revenge comes out so quick, like, is, um, can be such a bane for Wadi because if he starts throwing out a little bit too many nares and they start to get telegraphed, he's just going to use revenge, uh, do a little bit of extra damage, and then even get uh, set himself up for a kill. Oh, there's one more there calling out that jump. These arrows are going to be so good against Rob. He's such a big body, so it's going to have a really easy time to juggle him and continue the arrow against him. Nice. Really impressive stuff. Yeah. He's not just a Greninja, man. Not just a Greninja. That's definitely a phrase that uh, describes Stroder for sure. Not to say like, his Greninja is not incredible. It definitely is. Do you think we're going to get to see the Greninja? You know, he's going to pull out so many characters. But I wouldn't be surprised if we, um, if maybe Wadi adapts to the Incineroar, if we see the uh, Greninja come out. Mm -hmm. you know? Maybe like a game situation, but we'll see. Maybe Yoda just pulls him out too. Oh. I mean, I just feel like the the Greninja would actually have like a little bit more trouble getting in, but uh, I guess Incineroar has trouble getting into him, and, and uh, Stroder's making it work pretty well. But we do have our counter pick to Final Destination, eliminating those platforms. Now, Stroder was actually using those platforms to his advantage pretty well, especially at the, when it came to ledge trapping. Uh, now he's not going to be able to do that. He doesn't have access to it. Well, he's definitely been, uh, getting in a position where he has to guess over and over and over. That's true. I mean, that's definitely true there from what we've seen from Wadi. Oh, and he took Stroder's jump, but being able to directional air dodge back to the ledge is going to keep Stroder in this game. Definitely, but I do like the awareness of Wadi. He's saying, you know, your character does not have a uh, great recovery. I'm going to go super aggressive off stage and put you in terrible spots over and over. Amazing down there. Love the setup. Yeah, showing that <laughs> uh, Stroder definitely needs some platforms. <laughs> platforms to help him out for sure. Mm -hmm. Even taking a little bit extra time to recover, throwing out the gyro, putting, applying pressure to Stroder, even though he's the one supposed to be uh, ledge trapping. But, oh, God, the jump again, and even oh, once. Oh, my God, what are these projectiles? So good, and the side beat just a finish up. Oh, that was beautiful from Wadi, man. And what an answer for, like, shut down. completely shut down, three stock. What a uh, great answer 
from Wadi, or I'm sorry, a great response. Yes. And now it's going to be Stroder's counter pick. Now we said it. If it goes to game three, we might see the character switch come out. And honestly, after that display, uh, might be time for like, the Greninja. <laughs> I don't know. But with with today being like a pre saga bracket, it might be the day that you just use to practice all your secondaries oh, to true, true. to really prepare more for tomorrow. And we can hear the Incineroar oh, yeah, pick, so he's locking has, it he in. Has faith in the <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see. Definitely going to be stage dependent, though. Mm -hmm. uh, it, that FD pick. That FD pick was definitely uh, tough for uh, for Stroder. But now we see a, a stage with a, a very large center platform um, with Smashville. Yeah. And it's also just a little bit smaller than FD as well. So if he does, you know, get in on uh, Rob, it's going to be much easier. To do so. But this is where we saw the trouble here at the ledge. Just body is covering those air dodges and those jumps really well with the projectiles and the forward airs. That's right, but we see the ledge traps coming out from Stroder, but Wadi able to escape, getting a couple down tilts into a gyro. Oh, nice timing on the back of the sins up so far off stage. Oh, and calling out the upbeat again. Beautiful. I love that new side B in this game from Rob. So strong, so active. Yeah, and the multi hit. In the blast zone, you're gone at such early percent. <laughs> I mean, Wadi was doing such good work and making a, a lot of, getting a lot of mileage out of that side B, especially earlier in the game. Ooh, taking it out of that pressure with using the armor on the up B, Stroder able to escape, but now getting back, put back on the ledge. Trying to find his footing here to just get something started with Wadi. I really like this place on his here. He's taking these hits, but nothing that's really dangerous in the in a bad spot that needs to stop. Mm -hmm. I mean, even dropping with uh, with Nair, we haven't seen Stroder make use of uh, Revenge so far here in Game 1 or Game or game 2 or Game 3. Yeah, I'm surprised. I kind of expected him to uh, use the Revenge at least on the Jower when it's on the stage. Oh, but the snipe! He immediately yeah. caught the side B with the sweet spot laser. That was incredible timing. Wadi, man, this is, I don't know, man. Might look like potential three stock again. I don't know. Oh, well, Looking really strong. Let's see if Stroder has anything to say about that. We see a couple of down tilts, but nothing really uh, connecting onto Wadi. More down tilts from Wadi. And as long as Wadi keeps, oh, okay, there's the revenge. Look at look at this Incineroar glow. Nice. That down tilt is really good for Incineroar, uh, scooping him off the ledge. Yeah. Stop it from the up air. Please it almost stop. like puts his opponents always in like prime up air position. Yeah, exactly. Or even a mix up position. Yeah, it's a really good hitbox for scooping them up right above you. And it's like perfect for the ledge. I think it scoops below the ledge too. Yeah, again, like I said, this character in Cinema, man, really good normal moves. <laughs> Some of the best in the game, honestly. But okay, coming out there with the, the Lariat. Yeah, you know, toss him to the ropes. Or sorry, now the Alolan Whip. Wadi answering back, double Ooh. up air, and that's enough to take the okay. stock. All right, Stroder coming back alive in the game here. That's what you like to see. Yeah, Stroder taking this to game three last stock and, and being able to make it, landing on that smashable platform. Oh, gets hit with the second hit of the back air. The back air timing is so good from Wadi. He's just seeing him right off stage exactly where he wants to be, and the down air trade. So good. Wadi making this character Rob look so incredible as... Uh, Pretty much from the start of Ultimate, honestly. He's been coming out the gate with the Rob, really showing people what That's this character true. can do. Oh, did, did I just hear that right? Do we have T versus T coming up? No way. Really? Is that? That is T <laughs> versus T. <laughs> okay. Wow. Funny enough, uh, these guys are actually teaming tomorrow, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Team T? Yeah, yeah. 